Hi guys! I'm here with my top 10 favorite product makeup thing stuff of 2012 because it is the last day of 2012! Woohoo! Happy New Year! Australia? Because it'll probably be New Year for you by the time you see this. I was in Australia a year ago for all my new subscribers. Yeah, that's bizarre. Remy's behind me if you hear stuff. You can see her. I've compiled some of my favorite, not individual products, but like favorite things, I guess, having to do with makeup in 2012. Some of them are individual products. And these are not in any particular order, by the way, because I'm too lazy to categorize them. I'm drinking some coffee, too. Because it's 11, 11 at night, and that's what you do. You film videos in your room with coffee. Let's get started. This is mainly just the idea of bright lips. Um, this one is uh, OCC Lip Tar in Nylon, and the package is totally messed up because I don't clean off the brush after using it, because again, I'm a lazy fuck. But I really, really love the super bright lip this year, especially in the spring and summertime, and this is a really great color. It's really similar to Max Candy Yum Yum, but I've since ordered Max Candy Yum Yum. And I like the lip tars, they just get kind of uncomfortable after a few hours on my lips because I have dry lips. So Bright Lips was a favorite in 2012. My Real Techniques brushes was another favorite. Um, I use my blush brush every single day. It is definitely my favorite blush brush that I've ever used, and I really, really love the um, the base eyeshadow brush and then the deluxe crease brush. These were definitely my favorite brushes of the year. Besides this next one, Remy, go away. Here, do you want to say hi? Say hi. Say hi. She's gotten bigger. Is it weird, like knowing, like seeing how big she's getting? Hi, honey. She just woke up from a nap a little bit ago. She sleeps all the time. Meh! Go play. My MAC 109 brush was definitely another favorite of this year. I use it to set my uh, foundation a lot because I have a, a couple of uh, setting powder samples that are in really tiny containers and this is perfect for that. And I also use it for contouring, I use it for highlighting. It's just a great all around brush. I don't use it for any cream products so I don't get any of the shedding. Speaking of highlighting, I've only just recently got this product but I freaking, oh my god, uh, oh my god, oh my god. A MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Scapade. Um, I literally just got it for Christmas but it is so great. This is what I've been wanting for such a long time and it was what I wanted when I initially, like I've bought Soft and Gentle and I literally returned it the next day because it made my pores look so big and gritty and glittery and stupid. This is the highlighter I've been waiting for my whole life, okay? It's perfect. For somebody who's pale like me, who doesn't want like gold ass highlight, like cause so many highlighters are so gold. Even Albatross by NARS is still so gold on me. And then Hungry Heart that's in the Dan Mari palette is so gold. And I mean, Mary Luminizer is, is, is a nice champagne color on me, but this is just perfect. Uh, the trend of burgundy things, and I'm not gonna call it oxblood because that's stupid because it's burgundy, so shut up. Basically, like, red all around. Like, obviously my hair is red right now, but I really, really love my burgundy mascara from Laura Mercier, and it's, it's, it's burgundy. Um, and then my Chanel Illusion Dombe bleh, in A Bluey, and it has since basically come away from the sides, so it's like a chunk of cream eyeshadow now, which is weird. And then my MAC, on the Hunt uh, duo, it's not, it's burgundy red color. So basically like red, red has been my, my color this year. I like the trend. I like the burgundy trend. Like burgundy eyes, red eyes. Most people don't want to pull it off, but I like it. Dark Lips was another favorite this year, as you can tell probably in the last few videos. I've actually lost NARS Volga. I think I took it to a show and I lost it. And I'm really sad about it. Mac Rebel, Mac Night Moth. Ugh, I, I could probably say Mac Night Moth was my favorite product of the year all around. Everything. Most favoritist, all the favorites, every, everything. This, oh. Revlon Bordeaux uh, lip gloss, um, my Wet n Wild Cherry Bomb lipstick, and then my new love for freaking Rimmel number four uh, lipstick. This is one of the Kate Moss ones and it's really really great over Night Moth. So 
Yeah, but Dark Lips has been a thing that I've really, really loved this year, and I feel like that's just kind of come along with, like, my, my newfound confidence in myself, because I feel like you have to have some sort of confidence to wear a dark lip, because people are automatically gonna kind of look at you if you're not wearing something that looks natural. Like, if you're wearing, like, a super bright red lipstick, or, like, a super dark lipstick, People are gonna look at you. Going along with the same theme, I guess. I just, just, I've been into dark things this year. Not like, dark, but like dark colors. Dark nail polish, man. Um, I have uh, L'Oreal eh, After Hours, it's navy. Essie Wicked, and then Orly Goth, three of my favorites this year. Dark nails, man. I like the dark colors. I don't know why, I just do. Being pale just kind of like dark colors like contrast well and I like it and it it pops. And if I wear like dark lipstick I feel like I don't have to do as much elsewhere because when I'm lazy I'll just be like oh mascara blush highlight ah dark lipstick and it works. Some skincare stuff that I've stuck with the whole year and that I loved uh, is the Body Shop Vitamin E skin family stuff. Um, this is the moisture cream I wear during the day and then the nourishing night cream I wear at night like it says in the title. I have rebought this one several times. Um, I haven't rebought this one yet but I've only started using it like a few months ago but I really really love it and I've been using this one during the day when I felt really really dry when I was sick when I needed to like add on that extra moisture on my face. These are awesome products for any skin type and I have sensitive skin and they have no SPF in them so they're great especially in this weather because we're in Washington in December and it's dark and gray and rainy. Anybody who says that you need to wear SPF every day needs to shut up because they don't live in Washington. <laughs> this product has SPF 45 but this is my Dr. Jart Premium Beauty Balm that I got with my Birchbox points this summer and I have loved this thing so much. I don't even know how much is left because this tube doesn't squeeze. It's a phenomenal, phenomenal BB cream. It's quite expensive so I don't know if I'll repurchase it. I use it this summer when I didn't want to put on a full foundation when it was getting hot and when I was going on vacation. I didn't want to carry around my face atelier foundation and my foundation brush because that would have been way too much work and that foundation is expensive and I didn't want to have to clean my brush all the time. This I put on with my hands. I put this on when I'm really in a hurry. It doesn't break me out even with the SPF because it has zinc oxide and titanium dioxide not like the other fancy SPF stuff that you find in like moisturizers nowadays. And then the last favorite, my Urban Decay Vice palette. It's so much fun. Like, while I don't use it every day, I've been using my Naked palette a lot more lately. This is so much fun to play with when I want to do more on my eyes because you don't have to go to any other palette. I mean, if you don't want to buy single eyeshadows and you just want enough eyeshadows to be able to like do whatever you want, like buy this and the Naked palette, like that's basically all you need because the Naked palette has so many nice neutrals that you can put together to make other things and, and like staple colors that you could use for anything and then this it's like it's just like the fun smorgasbord of color and beautiful. I would say the 2012 was a good year. I got a whole new channel started. I've reached over 3,000 subscribers and I've made lots of new friends and I went on tour and I've got a new accordion. <laughs> I hope you guys have checked out my playlist for my last video because I really really like that playlist. I'm gonna make more playlists for you guys to check out because I like them. I was basically playing that playlist at work all day because I didn't want to listen to anything else other than my favorite music of the year. Let me know in the comments what are some of your guys' favorite products or favorite trends, favorite makeup stuff from the year and leave any sort of like requests or ideas for videos or looks. I don't really do a lot of like recreate looks from people. I don't feel like I'm that good at it so don't really leave those. I mean if I see one that I like really want to do I'll do it but I mean I like making you guys happy but if you're gonna tell me to do a Selena Gomez eye makeup look I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> like. Stop.
No. But I feel like you guys know me well enough to not ask me that. I don't know. I hope you guys have a great new year. I might post pictures. I'll probably post pictures of like my outfit and makeup or whatever that I do for New Year's Eve. Um, Andy and I are going to a friend's party, so it's gonna be fun, and I'm not gonna do anything too crazy, because I can't drink, so it's not gonna be that wild and crazy. I hope you guys have a happy new year, and I will see you in 2013. Bye, guys!